Hey guys, Justin here in the 2x4 test tent and it is time for another unboxing video. Hell yeah, gotta love it. Uh, so this is going to be part of my new unboxing series. Um, I get a lot of requests for kind of like unknown or lesser named uh, LEDs out there. Most of them are from Amazon, most of them are from China. I get a lot of questions about those. Are they good? Do they work? Um, I also get a lot of requests uh, from these companies to show their lights. So, hey, I figured, you know what, I got questions, let's get some answers. Uh, so I did uh, go ahead and uh, accept a few of these lights off of Amazon, and uh, we're going to check them out. Uh, this is one of them here. I have uh, so far three or four uh, that are going to be showing up. And this is the first of them here. This one is um, from Growstar, I believe. So uh, I've got my meters here. We got the uh, meter meter. We got the uh, heat laser temp gun. Got the par meter and the watt meter. We'll be putting this sucker through the uh, the paces on all of these meters to see what it can do. Now this one does have, uh, I believe it's like 56 pieces of Epistar Bridge Lux diodes, uh, 10 watt diodes, and then uh, two Cree cobs, two 20 watt Cree cobs. So. Let's uh, let's get this sucker unboxed, and we'll uh, see what's inside. Pop this puppy open. Oh. There we go. That should be good enough. Get in there. Yep. There we go. Bam. And we are in. In like Flynn. Alright, so fairly well packed. Pretty cool. I think this is going to just pull off of here. Yep, there we go. Pretty easy packing. Pretty basic. You got your power cord. Pretty standard. Good thing it's not some sort of proprietary piece of crap, so that's good. If you ever lose it, easy to replace. Ah, the good old one hanging rope ratchet. Well, I can tell you right now, probably gonna have to add another rope ratchet to this, but we'll see. We'll see, well, let's see what kind of hanging kit they have to utilize that one rope ratchet. And yeah, that's what I figured. So this is gonna connect to the four corners of the LED, and then it's gonna hang from one one uh, rope ratchet, or one uh, carabiner, I guess you would say. Um, yeah, that's gonna spin. That's just gonna spin like crazy. So, gonna have to use an extra rope ratchet with that. That's uh, that's something I would recommend already, right off the top. So let's get this sucker out of the plastic here. Look at that. So there's that, that Cree Cobb, 20 watt Cree Cobb, and then we've got double chip, two 5 watters, they're double chips, 10 watt total on each of these. Pretty sick actually. That's pretty cool. I dig it. Let's get this sucker out of the, uh, out of the pack here. There's our cut into the side there. Grow star. Hell yeah. Pretty slick looking light, really, to be honest. Not bad. Pretty, pretty decent build. It's not super heavy. You can see into there, you can see the uh, the heat sink that they use. Not super, super beefy. And not quite screwed down all the way, maybe. <laughs> oh yeah. Oh yeah. That could definitely be seated a little bit better. But hey, you know, it's a uh, cheap Chinese cookie cutter light. It looks like we've got an odd diode in there. 
of some sort on that side as well. So yeah, we'll see what all that shakes out to, but let's flip this over. Take a look at the back. Here's the uh, particulars. Everything else pretty standard. You got the uh, daisy chain connector, uh, on off switch. Yeah, pretty uh, pretty basic. So let's uh, let's get this sucker hooked up, get some power running through it, and uh, get our meters going and see what we can uh, figure out with this sucker. All right, guys, we are back and ready to fire this sucker up. It does have a power switch, which, to be honest, a lot of these cheaper lights don't have, so it's already a one-up on uh, a lot of the cheaper ones, so let's flip it on and see what happens. Bam! That is definitely purple. Can't, uh, can't see too much of the, uh, the light from the regular cobs. The purple really overpowers it. But they're definitely on. 20 watt Cree cobs in the middle. I kind of like this light actually. It's pretty neat looking. Now, they do call it a 600 watt light because they claim that it's going to replace a 600 watt HPS. Now, I can tell you right now that that's not going to happen. Um, that is a load of crap. I don't even have to put a meter under this to tell you that. Um, I already know. But that's not what we're here to figure out. We're here to figure out if this is actually a good light. Uh, at all and will work for anything uh, so uh, let's take a look first I got the uh, white balance I can set up here so we can actually see something I did uh, find the user's manual in the bottom of the box here so take a quick look at that so you guys can see just kinda what's inside there feel free to pause if you would like to read through everything This is all their different models that they sell. And this is the uh, PAR ratings that they claim. Now they're claiming at 18 inches to be about 740 in the middle. So I'm gonna run this at 16 inches because I test most of these lights at 16 inches. So that's where I'm gonna start it at. And we'll see if that matches up. It should be around, um, well, let's see, 12 inches is 1,000, 18 inches is 740. So it should be right directly in between there. So we'll see where it sits, probably about 900. And then here's the spectral map, if anybody's interested. Two year warranty it says. And then you got your warranty card on the back. So yeah. That's about it. Now let's get the uh, the meter under here, the moment of truth. That's about dead center. Let's kick it on and see what we get. 850. That's actually really good. 41, 51. So yeah, about 850. About what I figured actually. And that is at 16 inches there again. Just to let you guys know. Both sides, 16 inches. So yeah, pretty decent actually. 850. Go out to the edge of the light here though, and it drops off in a hurry. Still uh, 480 you can definitely make buds with 480 like really nice buds 850 though that's fat colas right there that's fatty fatty dense fatty cola territory right there so no doubt that this light will produce buds at 16 inches and decent buds at that like I have no doubt in my mind so let's see what our footprint is now I have a feeling it's gonna be about a foot and a half for flowering because you don't want to really get too far below 400 it's so right there it falls off quite a bit see like 350 it's about as far off as we're gonna want to get so that's right there past the edge of the light so yeah we're gonna get about 18 inches worth of coverage I believe yep so now there we're at the other end we're at 18 inches bam so you can flower in an 18 inch wide space this way 
and then we'll hit it over on this side 292 uh, you're getting you're getting pretty low there then over to the other side Two forty. Yep. So yeah, you're getting a little low on the sides if you're going for uh, two feet. I would say this is a one and a half foot by one and a half foot uh, flower footprint for this, um, which I mean is you could definitely do it in a two by two and have good results. I feel uh, with the extra reflection. Of course, this doesn't have. Uh, if I had a two by two, I'd have a wall right here to help reflect some extra light down and a wall right here to help reflect some extra light down so I really do think this would be a very good 2x2 two two light to be quite honest and the uh, the readings are killer man I mean in the middle there that's that's actually really friggin good I'm surprised I'm honestly surprised that this light um, is that good like I didn't even think it was gonna push 700 to be honest like that's um, that's decent those cobs are putting in some work. All the colors change now. Rem reminder, I do have this on the white balance setting, so it does kind of change the colors a little bit. But it does allow you to see the differences in the LED colors, and you can see just how many different colors are in this light. So it is a, a full spectrum with all the colors. Pretty sweet, actually. I, I'm kind of digging this a little more than I thought I would. It's a nifty little light. Let's uh, maybe take it, should we take it up a little bit? See if we can get some more spread? No, it'll just, it'll just kick out. It, this is pretty much it. I usually like to test a couple different heights, but if we go any lower, it's just gonna get way too intense in the middle and it's gonna shorten our footprint here. And if we go any higher, it's obviously we're not gonna hit 800 anymore and we're not even gonna hit 300 on the side so honestly I think 16 inches is gonna be about right for this sucker as it is for a lot of the lights that I test 16 inches seems to be just a really really sweet spot uh, for a lot of these LEDs uh, as long as they don't have um, some big lenses or anything like that to help focus the light um, then you might want to run, run them a little bit higher because they're gonna have a smaller footprint uh, to the side more intense down the middle but with a light like this it just has these little cones these little chrome cones kind of helping to point the light downward but uh, yeah it's uh, pretty decent if you guys want to check out this light uh, they are having some pretty big sales uh, if you're watching this video before Thanksgiving there is a uh, promo code down below in the link uh, for Amazon you can buy this on my Amazon store or from the link below and if you use the promo code below uh, I think it goes until like December 2nd or something like that it's 20% off but then if you buy this on Black Friday uh, there's a code down there below for uh, I think it's 32% off so that's gonna be pretty bitchin if you guys got a 2x2 two two tent and you need an inexpensive light to crush I can tell you this thing's gonna do it like no doubt Look at that, 850, 850. This light will do it. I have no doubt in my mind. I'm actually pretty surprised at this. This is probably the uh, gonna be the better uh, light that I have from this Amazon unboxing series, I would say. This one actually has cobs. The other ones are pretty much just uh, the Epistar and Bridge Lux. Uh, this one actually has some Cree cobs, so pretty sweet. Let's um, let it heat up a little bit here, and then I'll get some uh, some heat numbers. It still hasn't been on for very long, but it's not going to heat up that much because it is an active uh, exhaust, so it's got the two uh, fans, and I'm really close to the fan right here, so you can kind of hear. It's actually fairly quiet. This light is pretty quiet. It doesn't have loud fans, which is pretty cool. I'm actually pretty impressed with this light overall. It seems like a, um, a higher quality, lower quality light, if you know what I mean. There's a lot of low quality lights there that are literally just pieces of shit. Pieces of shit in a box with a slight warranty. Um, this one actually is shaping up to be pretty decent. So yeah, I'm going to leave it on for about an hour or so, and we'll come back and see, uh, see what we got, because this thing isn't even, it's not even warm. Like, it's, it's still actually cold. 
these these grills are really cold from the from the air running through it so yeah we'll uh, we'll come back in a bit all right guys we are back and ready for the watt test let's check it out see what we got look at that 119 121 on the watts looking good all right so that's uh, pulling a decent amount of power there it's got a lot of uh, different array of colors in there too pretty cool uh, I wanted to uh, clarify also on the uh, discount I got from uh, from Growstar here uh, they actually are only honoring the 20% and the 32% off code at their website uh, but you can get a 10% off code uh, that you just click the little uh, the little box on Amazon and it gives you 10% off when you put it in the cart um, that actually saves you 10% there plus you get Amazon's uh, free shipping easy returns all that good stuff honestly I would think that would be the better way to go but if you want to try and save a little bit more a couple more bucks uh, you can go through their website I've put all the links and uh, everything down below uh, also there's other lights uh, available on my Amazon store which is also below uh, check all that stuff out and uh, yeah let's get back to the uh, video alright guys we are back I've had this thing on for uh, over an hour now. It's not really much hotter uh, than when I first turned it on, uh, to be quite honest. But we're going to check the uh, the heat here anyway. Let me make sure I hit the sticker here. Get a good accurate reading. 84 degrees on the case. Of course, this is going to run quite a bit cooler to the touch uh, because it has the active cooling of the fans, unlike the uh, the fanless LEDs that are out. Uh, those ones get really hot to the touch because that's the way they get rid of their heat. Uh, this one here, if you could touch the uh, the little heat sink in there, I'm sure that's pretty hot. I don't know if I can get a real accurate reading of the heat sink here. It is also shiny metal. Let me see if I can hit it here. Oh, the light went off here. 84, 88, 93. Yeah, so definitely much hotter inside there if I can hit that metal uh, than it is in the case. And that's that's how this light's supposed to run. The fanless LEDs, that's how they're supposed to run. It's just different. Uh, this light, you could set something on top of here if you wanted to, and it wouldn't be a big deal. Uh, the fanless ones, you definitely wouldn't want to do that. So, uh, pretty sweet light overall. Uh, I was looking at uh, some of the specs on it and whatnot, and I was noticing when I was looking at the bottom, there's a lot of different colors in this thing. There's like like 10 or 11 different colors, uh, different colored diodes that are actually in this. So it has like every conceivable color <laughs> that you could really want. Other than uh, green, it doesn't have a whole lot of green and yellow in the spectrum. But quite a bit of like orange, red, uh, blue, UV all that good stuff's in there so uh, pretty neat light actually overall I would uh, I would say it's a pretty good value for the money especially if you can get in on the Black Friday deal so uh, check it out link below and um, I think that's pretty much gonna do it uh, for this update and uh, unboxing so until next time guys happy growing